Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got an isosceles triangle ABC inside another triangle ACD such that the line segment AC and the line segment BC are 7 units each and moreover the line segment CD is 8 units and this line segment AB is 2 units and now we are going to find the value of this distance X. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC which is an isosceles triangle. And now let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point C onto this line AB. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's recall this well known fact. The altitude or in other words the perpendicular of an isosceles triangle bisects the base into two equal parts. So we have this one the perpendicular which is 90 degrees so that means these two parts are going to be equal since the whole length AB is two units so this has got to be one unit and this is going to be one unit as well. So therefore AE equal to EB and each of them are equal to one and here's our next step. This time we are going to focus on this right triangle CEB and we are going to calculate the distance CE and since this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this horizontal side as lowercase a this vertical side I'm going to call side b and this longest leg I'm going to call this side c and here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square where a equals to 1 b is unknown and c equal to 7 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a I'm going to replace this one by 1 square we are going to find the value of b and c in our case a is 7 square so 1 square is 1 plus b square equal to 49 so b square turns out to be 48 and now let's go ahead and remove this square by taking the square root on both sides so b turns out to be equal to positive or negative square root of 48 and now since B represents the distance and distance must be positive so therefore B value turns out to be positive square root of 48. So thus our side length CE turns out to be square root of 48 as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle CED and now let's focus on this side length ED this is equal to the sum of this side length 1 plus this side length X so that is going to become X plus 1. Now we know that this triangle CED is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square let me go ahead and label this uh, horizontal side as a lowercase a this vertical side lowercase b and this uh, longest leg I'm gonna represent by c and here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square where a is x plus 1 b is square root of 48 and c is 8 let's fill in the blank so we got uh, x plus 1 square plus b in our case is square root of 48 and then square equal to 8 square and now let's go ahead and write down x plus 1 square as it is this square and square root they undo each other so we simply got 48 
and on the right hand side 8 square is 64 and here I subtracted 48 from both sides so I ended up with x plus 1 square equal to 16. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. This square and square root is gone so we ended up with x plus 1 equal to positive or negative 4. And now since x represents the distance and distance must be positive so I am going to pick x plus 1 equal to positive 4 value. Now let's subtract 1 from both sides. This is gone so that means our x value turns out to be simply 4 minus 1 is 3 units. So thus our distance x turns out to be 3 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.